All right, we are using our identities we've been talking about today. Simplify the expression, and that's kind of vague. That will simplify. How much can I simplify? That's that's a tricky thing sometimes. I realize, but the ones we're going to work with will be pretty straightforward. So some guidelines. You know, you want to substitute down. If you've got things that aren't sines and cosines, a lot of times we'll substitute in. Just try to simplify. Most of the time you'll totally get rid of fractions. You should be able to rewrite things uh, that don't have any fractions in them. So let, let's just look at a couple together, okay? And then I'll have you try a couple. So cosine beta times tangent beta. Cosine times tangent. How could we simplify that? This is really similar, by the way, to what we did in those previous couple examples, except they had something on the right side. We kind of had a goal to simplify it down to. We're doing really about the same thing. We just don't know what the goal is. And so cosine, can't do anything with that. Tangent though, so let's just rewrite. So cosine, well tangent, I can rewrite as sine over cosine, right? That's a quotient property. See what I did there, substitute it, and cosine over cosine will divide out. And so this simplifies to just sine of beta. So cosine beta, tangent beta, simplifies down to just sine. Okay, this one looks a little more complicated. Secant squared times one minus sine squared. Well, let's see what we can do here. Secant squared, well, that is one over cosine squared. And again, I don't have the, the formulas up here, but you've got your trig sheet in front of you, I hope, and you'll, you'll become more familiar with these as you work with them. And there's different ways I could do this problem, by the way. So if you if you see something different, that's okay. So one over cosine squared, that's secant squared. One minus sine squared. One minus sine squared. Well, that is the same as cosine squared. Now, where did I get that from? That's a Pythagorean identity. Remember, sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. So if I rearrange that, one minus sine squared would be cosine squared. And that's a really common one that we'll see. Cosine squared over cosine squared then of course is one. So isn't that interesting? This whole thing here simplifies down, it's the equivalent of one. All right, let's see what we've got here. So sine cubed, cosine squared over cosine cubed, sine squared. Let's, let's just divide some stuff out. So these exponents, sines over sines, so that'll totally cancel and that would just become a one. This would cancel, and that would become a one. Whoops, I left an X out right there. And so, what do we have? Let's, let's rewrite here. So I have sine of X over cosine of X. Well, and that seems pretty simple, right? But I can take it one step further. That's the equivalent of tangent of X, okay? So we're gonna let you try a few on the next slide. 